Do you have to rethink your infrastructure to go on your AI journey? That's what we're gonna talk about today on AI Insights with John Rose. Great to be with you all again. Um, let's, let's talk about this because we've talked a lot about being able to figure out what to prioritize, how to get unstuck, how to you know just know what to do and kind of how to do it. But ultimately, once you decide to do an AI project, you'll realize something. These are very resource intensive. They, if you do them right, they scale. At Dell, our typical AI projects might have tens of thousands of users on them. They, we go after big things and we go big with them. And one of the consequences that we discovered on that journey is, is our infrastructure choice, the way that we're powering all of this stuff, the right choice long-term based on what we see coming at us now as we're entering the AI era. And it's not to criticize those choices, but one of the things we realized is most IT organizations made choices about how they wanted to build out their multi-cloud or cloud infrastructure probably five to seven years ago. And one of the things that's kind of interesting if you objectively look at it is five to seven years ago, generative AI didn't exist. You did not make any of those decisions, assuming that the majority of the workloads on your infrastructure, whatever that strategy would, what was going to be, would be AI. Well, now we're in the AI era. And one of the things that we've seen is no matter what your cloud strategy was, no matter whether you decided to go to a single public cloud or have a hybrid multi-cloud environment or a multi-cloud environment or an edge strategy, it really doesn't matter what decision you made. It probably isn't actually correct anymore. And that isn't to criticize it. Something changed. The workloads changed. And I will tell you, given what we're seeing, within a few years, the vast majority of the utilization of your infrastructure will be in service of AI outcomes, not traditional workloads. So you built an infrastructure and a, and a cloud strategy to service traditional infrastructure and traditional workloads, and that's all changed. And so I, I, I think it's important to realize that on the AI journey, not only do you have to figure out what to do, not only do you have to figure out kind of what tools to use and how to actually make it safe and appropriate, but you also probably are going to have another step. And that step is a strategic rethink of your infrastructure strategy. Now, the reason you want to do that is one of the things about AI is it is a very diverse and complex ecosystem. The AI use cases that you're going to come up with are not identical. They're not based on a single tool. In fact, we've talked about this. There are multiple foundational tools from chatbots to coding assistants to content engines to fine-tuning infrastructure to agentic frameworks. All of those exist. None of them existed three years ago. And so we have to think, what is the best infrastructure strategy for that? Now, there isn't a right or wrong answer. There is just a need for you to pause, take a step back and ask, if I was building it from scratch now, would I build infrastructure the way that I built it? Would I choose something different? Would I approach it a different way now that I understand what AI workloads are and what they're going to need? A couple of helpful hints. The first is to realize one of the best things that can happen with that infrastructure strategy as you strategically rethink it is to have choice. There is significant uncertainty in AI. You may have solved the chatbot problem today, but as agentic, fully autonomous agents materialize, your definition of infrastructure is going to change. Some of those agents might run on a laptop, so you might need AI PCs. Some of them might run in real time in your factory, so you might need an edge environment. Some of them might be so resource intensive or so sensitive because agents can do really important work that they have to be in a private and controlled environment. If the only option you have in your current infrastructure strategy is maybe a public cloud, that's not sufficient. And so you may have to rethink about what you're going to have as choices. So our first principle is, as you do the strategic re rethink, ask yourself, is the diversity of AI significant enough that you're going to need more choices? You don't need infinite choices, but more. So you have different approaches to cost, to performance, and most importantly, to control. The second piece of this, though, is as you think longer term on your infrastructure strategy, does it actually become a, an uncertainty in your ROI? Remember, I definitely harp on business first AI, which means you're doing things to have a material ROI impact on the company. You want to increase your profit, increase your revenue, make your company better. And one of the things that we realized is sometimes the infrastructure that's powering certain parts of the AI use cases today doesn't have predictable costs. Now we saw this in the cloud era. We definitely got surprised by some cloud bills over the last five or seven years, and we don't want to repeat that. So it is important to think about not just that you have choices, but which of those choices give you better predictability as these workloads scale. You know, honestly, the best outcome for you is to have AI do exceptional things at scale. 
But if the consequence is that the infrastructure it runs on becomes unaffordable, the cost per transaction is too high, the overall cost per token is too high, whatever the metric is, you may create a situation where your ROI never manifests because your costs grow faster than the actual impact. And so kind of two dimensions to think about. The first, well, maybe three things. The first is it is time for a strategic discussion about infrastructure and honestly, just have an open mind. What do you need? The two outcomes that you really want to get to is to have options to be able to choose infrastructure based on the workload that will give you differences on price, performance, or control. And then the second is whatever combination you create, do you have predictable costs in your infrastructure strategy so that if AI does the unexpected but hopefully good thing of scaling dramatically, it doesn't explode your cost envelope? So anyway, just something to think about. We are finding that as people evolve and they get through the knot hole and know what to do, they do run into the situation that a lot of their infrastructure decisions were made before Gen AI even happened. And it's time to go have a strategic rethink over it. And hopefully this gives you some guidance about how to maybe have that discussion. So again, thanks. Very uh, important topic.